I want to ask you a question. Is there? I want to ask you a question. Okay. So, why do you think we didn't work out? What are the qualities you look for in a relationship? Hmm. Probably sex. <laughs> okay, for me, first of all, I'm a person who loves communication. I believe you should be able to communicate no matter what. If there is no communication, nothing works. No matter how strong the love is, it doesn't work. Yeah. Would you love your partner to have a female bestie? Oh, of course. Why? It's okay to have a female bestie. If, for me, it's, it goes both ways. If you're okay with me having a male bestie, why not? But you shouldn't have double standards where you can have a female bestie, but I can't. Then we have a problem. If you found out that your best friend's husband is cheating on her, would you tell her your best I would friend? snitch. <laughs> Oh, I would, I would, but I would snitch with evidence, yeah. There has to be evidence because my gender, we don't really, we like to be in denial, yeah. Until we, there's, um, there's something they say in training and when in time. So if the person hasn't seen it, they won't believe. So I would have evidence, groundbreaking evidence. What if she didn't, she doesn't believe you? If after the evidence she doesn't believe, then... Like I said, she's in a state of denial because what else do you want? Or maybe she already knows and she just wants to ignore it. What is the one thing you won't ever forgive in a relationship? Cheating. Cheating, I would say lying, yeah. But for me, it's cheating because I've had terrible experiences with it, so. You won't ever forgive no. a cheating boyfriend. Mm -mm. Okay. Who would you rather marry? A virgin or experienced partner? Experienced partner. Why? I don't want to be a teacher because I haven't learned enough myself. So I want someone who's experienced. How did you lose your virginity? <laughs> it's so awkward. Um, okay, so I think I was in, I just finished SS3 and we're writing, um, we're writing our WASI. I schooled in Nigeria, so, um, he came to write with my school and I was, because of my name, I sat in number six and it was number 26 and I like tall guys that are dark. I like the chocolates, you know, so... I liked him when he was sitting close to me. So every day I tried to build conversations and then after school, when we finished the exams and everybody went home, we started dating and yeah, 2010. Okay, so what happened before you broke up with him? We didn't really broke up, it was distance. I came to Ghana and the distance wasn't really working, so. So if he comes today, right in front of you, and says that let's pick it up from where we, where we, where we stopped, would you give him a chance? This is Sankofa Why wouldn't you give him a chance? Uh, he has three kids, so... Do you have a boyfriend? No. Your ex, what happened? Which... the ex is... The immediate ex, what happened? Oh, the immediate ex. We both fell out of love. So the last time that you fought or the last misunderstanding that led to the breakup, what was it? He called me on April Fool's Day and told me that he wanted to break up. And I asked him why. And he said, because he never asked me to be his girlfriend. So I checked the date and I was like, oh, it's 
April, April first, so it's April Fool's Day. So I called him the whole of that day. He didn't pick. Um, on the second, I went to his house, like to talk about it, and he says, "Yeah, he wants to break up." So I cried. I took my bag. I was leaving, and he, his friend came, called me back, and said, "Oh, it was just a prank. They were joking." And I cried then, and I thought it was because I was in love and didn't want to lose him. But I cried because I realized that. He was telling the truth, and I was just clinging on to lost hope. Because we we're both not really, we we're just accustomed to each other. I think that was it. Because we started, we almost dated when we were in school. I, I said I won't date anybody in school. I have three rules. Never date a colleague, never date um, your fellow students, and never date someone who lives in your area. So because it was a fellow student, I was like, no. So after school, he came back and I'm like, okay, give it a try. But I guess I had the old image of who he was in my head. So it didn't work. We lasted for, I think, a year and a few months or two years. Do you still talk to him? Oh yeah, he, he works right in front of my house now. Okay, so if I ask you to call him right now, can you call him? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can call him. Okay, so you are going to call him and ask him one simple question. Why did we break up? Or what do you think is wrong with me? No luck. So before him, who was there? Before Billy, he was... How do I not hold up? Add them. How did it take so long to remember his name? Wow. You don't remember Adam's name? What did he do? That you don't even remember his name. <laughs> uh, with him, we just is like I said, communication. He wasn't a communicator. He's the type who would wait for you to call, for you to text. So I took a step back and then for close to a year we didn't talk. Let's go ahead and I like you. Oh boy. Ask him why he thinks both of you didn't work out. Hello? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I want to ask you a question. Is it? I want to ask you a question. Okay. So, why do you think we didn't work out? Sure. I mean, you did it. What? What did I do? I dogged you. Ah, okay. I get it. Oh, all right. Yeah, you are lying. Because in the relationship, I was the one who was always calling, texting. And when I stopped, you also didn't do it. So I didn't dog you, I just stopped. Really? Yeah. Right. Okay. You can't even deny it. Wow. What is the craziest place you ever had sex? In 
a car park. How did it happen? I um, went to an event. It was in Nigeria. After the same person I was talking about, we went to a party. I think I had a... It was my first time taking alcohol. So some few screws came on loose. So things happened. It's not really nice. <laughs> No, a nice memory to have. <laughs> and if you have to write a book about yourself, what would be the title? If I had to write a book, The First Daughter's Mess. What? The First Daughter's Mess. Why would you give the book such a title? Well, first of all, I'm a first daughter, firstborn, and there are some decisions I have made. I wish I could go back and change. There are some people I have met I wish I never did. So what are some of the decisions you, you wish you could change? First of all, I wish I never introduced any of my boyfriends to my cousin. That still haunts me to date. What happened between your boyfriend and your cousin? Uh, I don't know if she, da she, she dated one, I know. I don't know if she dated the other one, but she made us break up, yeah. So that means any time you introduce your boyfriend to your cousin, your cousin takes your boyfriend. Yeah, I introduced twice, and twice she was the reason. I didn't actually know she was the reason till after. Then the guys themselves said it, that, oh, the reason we stopped talking was because, you know this person? I'm like, oh yeah, she's my family, you're like, yeah. She said you did this, she says you're like this. So. Yeah, your family can do that to you sometimes. What don't you like about yourself? Physically or character-wise? Anything at all you don't like about yourself? Mm, physically, I'm all right. I wish I was taller. That's why I can oppress people, but I'm short, so I'll take it like that. Character-wise, I think my, I could work on my temper. Yeah. I'm a sweet person, so I get angry. <laughs> I just lose that. I'm not as patient as I'm supposed to be. So people say, oh, it's a Thursday people thing. I'm like, yeah, it's a Thursday. Let's give it to the Thursdays. But I wish maybe, maybe, sometimes my roommate says, if I'm a little, maybe if I'm a little patient, the, Maybe some of the relationships would have worked like with Adam, but I was too patient with Adam. Okay. Have you ever sent a nude photo or a clip to someone you were dating? Yeah. How did it happen? And what was the reaction? They asked for it. And you and you sent it. Did they also send some to you? Yeah, he sent some to me. But I sent it on my face. I would never send it on my face. Okay. So you can never prove it was me. By your friend. <laughs>